Hello again. Let's have a look at Lab 250 about deep copies. About the concept of deepness when you have your data in data types that are Python data types. Looking at copies.py, we see that we are importing the copy library and that's all this is about. We're making here a dictionary called nest and it is an a key and a B key and they each have just a little list of numbers. If I use the built-in copy method of a dictionary and I'll call that nest copy and now I have a copy. I'm going to print out what I have in a new line and then everything I do I print it out. So let's look at the printout so we understand more easily. Here we see our nest dictionary with two keys and both values are the very mutable lists. We're going to change the B's value to be a different list and there's no problem with that. That's exactly the same as assigning an identifier to a new list. B got assigned to a new list. But when we use A to get into the one piece and put in surprise, that would be right here in our nest. We're putting in surprise. We see that our nest copy also has surprise. So what A is pointing to is the list, not to the items. That's what a deep copy is is about and the problem it might give you. If it gives you a problem, there are two things. One is that perhaps you want to reconsider the way you represent your data and learn about object-oriented programming instead so everything has names and everything is real easily accessible and mutable or not. But if you're stuck with this, then you want to remember the copy library and the deep copy call. So deep copy will copy any structure, nested lists and dictionaries and anything you got as deep as they are nested, it will copy that so that every item in that structure is independent in the copy. Here we have a uh, demonstration. We do a deep copy and so now we're going to say our nest of A is independence. It was surprise. Now it's independence. And when I look at my deep copy that I made a deep copy out of the nest, it still has the old surprise. So the deep copy, which was a big and difficult thing for the Python community to write, is now bugless and you can always get a very independent deep copy of anything. Okay, you have one little exercise, or maybe it's more like two, where you're going to do some predictions. I'll see you when you have given that a thought. Don't take a lot of time. I'll show you the answer.